you don't have the credit, you cannot live the American dream. Credit. It impacts everything we do, from routine purchases to buying a car or a home. People use and need credit. I would just kind of apply for different charges and stuff, and they would turn me down and say slow pay or, you know, your credit scores weren't high enough. Close to 70 million Americans have low credit scores or no credit score at all. A poor credit score may also have negative effect when you're trying to rent an apartment, obtain insurance, or even find a job. You take care of what you have to take care of and put money to the side for in case anything happens. Because your life can just be taken away from you like it has for me. Credit reports and credit scores determine how much credit you're given by banks, credit card companies, and other lenders. The credit report tracks the history of how much credit you've been given and if you've paid your bills on time. Your lenders, who report information to the credit bureaus, provide this history. The credit score is a tool that evaluates what is in the credit report and gives a number that is a ranking of where you stand compared to other consumers. The higher the score, the better your credit. And see how long, how long you can carry a note just by dragging it across. My credit's never okay. been that great. Before I was married, making lots of money and uh, getting credit cards and you know, spending money left and right. And if I didn't have cash in my pocket, I put it on credit. And uh, I rang up a, a pretty hefty credit bill. That really tanked my credit. John was single, earning a good salary, spending it all, and falling into debt. Now, some 10 years later, he's married with five children. His low credit score and poor credit report still haunt him. I worked for a company, and they did a uh, security check, and part of that security check was to, uh, they pulled my credit report. And I was ultimately, uh, I was uh, denied for future employment just based off of that. So, and I was let go. Credit reports cannot be scored for employment purposes because scores predict uh, risk in terms of repayment, typically. But credit reports are just another evaluation of your credit history. You know, it's, it's a character reference for you. For me, it wasn't necessarily just focus on my credit report or get my credit report um, uh, get my credit numbers up, but it was just focus on just okay. general debt and how I dealt with debt in my life. Building good credit is really about moving your behaviors forward in positive ways. And then paying back debt is certainly an important piece of being accountable. But certainly um, a lot of the credit scoring models too that's really important to know is that they're much more about recency. The more good behaviors you have moving forward, they're going to start to outweigh very quickly some of the negative uh, maybe information from the past. And ultimately when uh, times got tough and it was just like, well, okay, so I'll use this credit card to pay that credit card. And uh, uh, then it got, well, you know, now I'm, I'm short on funds. So, well, you know, I've got this job that I just started, so I'll go do a payday loan and then I'll, I'll use that payday loan money to pay these bills. And with my first paycheck, then I'll, I'll use that to pay back the payday loan. And it's just, a, it gets to be a vicious spiral. Your highest experience, 657. Your mid score, which essentially a bank would look at, is 650. Like John, Deborah and Curtis were not always happy with their credit score. Despite their steady employment, their bills piled up and they were forced to declare bankruptcy. Because it seems so hopeless. It seems so hopeless. There, when, you're, when you're in that, you know, quote unquote hole, it looks like it just keeps getting deeper. Getting deeper, yeah. And, and it gets worse. And, and you're. you're Working from paycheck to paycheck, then you're paying your rent and your bills, and it's like, oh. Bankruptcy is an occurrence that happens, and I think that the hardest thing and the worst thing is to then not look at your credit report for 10 years. Um, but the first thing you really want to do is look at that credit report and make sure that all the debt that was supposed to be associated with the bankruptcy actually was associated with the bankruptcy. Um, some bankruptcies will zero out all your debt, and so you want to make sure that all of your debt is gone, and then you should have a zero credit report, actually. So you're kind of starting from scratch. And so once it's zeroed out, then you really want to see almost as soon as you can, how can I then re build a relationship with a financial institution. 
One of the first things that we always recommend is that everyone try to have three active trade lines. Those are three lines of credit that are reported to the credit bureaus that you pay on time every month um, and if possible are a mix of revolving and installments. So if you do have a $500 credit limit, don't go out and charge $499 because as soon as you get interest on that you're going to be over your limit, that's not going to build good credit as fast as if you are only charging about 60 to 70 percent of that $500. The lines that you opened up to build your credit are looking excellent. Your money matters. Loan with Working with a nonprofit community center, a financial counselor helped them reestablish their credit. Heard that impressive home mortgage. Oh man, uh -huh. that's great. That's good to see. In our lifetime, we're going to have ups and downs. We'll have a good job. We'll have no job. We'll have a job that does not pay as well. And things get better, but we are consistently besieged by the things that happened in the past. And our families are not able to overcome that. They may get a little, little something extra, but in the end, they're going to wind up paying or losing more because they're seen as a risk. And we really need to redefine what a risk is, and we need to put things in place to clear that up. When you're an apprentice, first year, you're not making a whole lot of money. So you're, you're probably going to have to make some of those phone calls and call your creditors and say, hey, um, I'm only going to be able to make half the minimum payment or, or you know what, I'm, I'm not going to be able to pay this. There are certain situations where absolutely lenders would like to know ahead of time if you think that you're not going to be able to make a payment. And depending on who the lender is, they can be very open, especially when you've lost a job and you don't have employment coming in. You know, you can call somebody and say, hey, this is happening right now. How can you help me work through this? This is my financial situation right now. All right, well, thank you very much, Lisa. What they're going to report to the credit bureau is if you haven't paid. They're not going to report to the credit bureau that you called them. They're going to report to the credit bureau whatever restructuring happens. I've been able to uh, talk to Wells Fargo, whether it be with the car loan or my other loan, and say, well, hey, this is what's going on, so my minimum payment is this, um, I need to send you, okay. which is this, which is a, maybe a little bit more than half of the minimum payment, and uh, they would be okay with it. And then they will set up a payment plan. Now I'm making more money, I've gotten a, a couple of raises. And uh, now it's, it's not just um, pay the money to live, now it's uh, damage control. It's, it's pay the stuff I couldn't pay in the last year, um, take care of some of the bills, uh, and uh, try not to fall on the adage, when you make more money, you spend more money. My dream is to start my own company with my brother and friends but I need good credit. So I'm working hard on fixing this credit report mistake. For the future, for my family, it's very important to have good credit. Cipriano paid his bills on time, but when he tried to buy a new truck, lenders said his credit score was too low. Cipriano soon discovered that wrong information was reported under his name. I went to the bank to apply for a new truck loan. They told me I had bad credit. I was very surprised. My credit report said I owe child support money in Texas. Well, I have never been in Texas, and my two children live here with me in North Carolina, so I was very shocked. It's clearly a case of having the wrong report under my name. To help solve Cipriano's credit problem, the bank referred him to Career Connections and Prosperity Center. It's a United Way collaborative effort involving the Consumer Credit Counseling Service of Forsyth County and other community programs. Use your name consistently. Every place that you apply, if you, know, if you are Richard, don't sometimes be Rick. If you are a junior, always use junior because that can make all the difference. There are three credit bureau agencies and sometimes uh, you'll find that on one, a bank may report to one credit bureau agency, but yet not report to another one. So when you do request a credit report, it's essential that they request all three of them so that we make sure that we've covered all bases. You know, if you ever want to buy a house, if you want to buy a car, um, and, and even if you say, well, I want to use debit cards or I want to pay cash for things, I don't want to use credit, it's not many people can afford to buy a car or a house with cash. So you need a credit history, it's your references. One in every four of the client credit reports that we look at has something that doesn't belong to the person that we're talking with and getting that information off of that credit report can really go a long way. It's very difficult. 
My wife died of cancer and we moved in with my family. My wife helped me a lot with keeping track and paying the bills. I've been wanting to move to an apartment and eventually buy a house for my kids. But without credit, this is becoming very difficult. Um, unfortunately, because of what was on his credit, his interest was high. I think it was at 17.5. I can almost assure you that if that had not been on his credit report, it probably would have been maybe half of that. But that just comes to show you that credit is very important. My credit is bad. But with the help of Rachel at the Prosperity Center, the bank gave me a car loan, but at a higher interest rate. They know I'm working to clear up the collections and mistakes on my credit report. Some suggestions that I could probably give you on how to prevent something like this would be, first of all, take advantage of the free credit reports that are offered to you. Because there's a lot of identity theft. I mean, there can be felonies shown in there that may not be yours. When you do dispute something, make sure that you keep a good record on what has happened and how you clean that up because many times I have noticed that um, it may be pulled out of their credit report and then three months later it's put right back into their credit report. And so it's really you as a consumer to be on top of that to make sure that that stays off of your credit report. At this time my credit is still damaged and I'm still working to get it clear up. It's very important to get my credit back for many reasons so I can help improve the lives of my children, start my own business, and just have a better future. If you don't have a, a decent credit score, you just, uh, you're not really living. Granville and Rose Marie worked hard to provide for their family, but the dream of ever buying their own home seemed hopeless. I actually didn't even have a credit score for a number of years. Um, I guess because once again, I, I didn't buy a lot on credit. I like to say you have to play the game. Play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they have records to show that you pay good cash. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> the Shannons found help rebuilding their credit at Justine Peterson, a nonprofit community organization. A lot of our clients do make monthly payments, but they're making monthly payments with cash um, or they're making monthly payments to providers that don't report to the credit bureaus. And while that is excellent and we all should do that, it's doing nothing really to build their credit score and their credit profile so that when other potential lenders or prospective lenders look at their credit report, they don't know of the good payment history because it's not being reported. And um, a lot of fringe providers like payday lenders and um, buy here, pay here car places, they don't report the good information so that next time you have to access financing, you don't have those credentials established and you end up going back to the same fringe providers that aren't reporting to the credit bureaus. We had uh, six kids and renting in small apartments, it's like an overlap of things, you know, kids have to share rooms and things of that nature. A lot of people who have the same uh, financial uh, background that I have, they had houses and I wanted a house, you know, I wanted the American dream like everybody else. And that was the basic thing that kept, that was the fueling point that made me want to keep pushing to uh, get to the next point. We will get a lot of clients that are moving from apartments in areas that are not so desirable, that want to purchase houses that are in areas that are have better school districts or where they say they have better neighbors and things of that nature. I went to various little organizations to try. Uh, I've heard them advertise that they could help you, uh, you know, with your credit and things of that nature. And I probably went to, I would say, at least 10 of them. And I went to uh, a lot of different programs to pay a lot of money and things of that nature, and uh, none of them ever panned out. I don't think you should have to pay money to receive money. So you kept going through a lot of those. Yeah. Which I kept saying I didn't think it was a good idea. Please don't pay for credit repair for your credit report. Anything that a so-called credit repair company can do for you, you can do for yourself for free. You can get the credit report for free. You can dispute for free. There's absolutely no charge. You can put a fraud alert on your file if you've been a, a victim of, of, of fraud uh, for free. My thing was was trying to, uh, trying to get a credit score was my basic thing. And I didn't really know how to go about doing that. You know, and that was the, uh, that was the challenge was to try to find out how to uh, obtain a credit score.
we do understand how the credit score works um, in that we know that on-time payments, recent on-time payments, really mm -hmm. help the credit score climb immediately. They pay their rent on time, they pay their utility bills on time, they're paying their other bills in cash, but they've never effectively used the credit system. Maybe we can get a small loan on there with on the credit report with a small monthly payment, 15 to $20 a month, that, that the client can start to demonstrate that they make on-time payments, because they're already making on-time payments, they're just making them to people that don't report to the credit bureaus. You know, I got the medical bills off, I established credit by, uh, I actually had one credit card when I went there the first time, I believe, but what I did was I was able to acquire a second one, and uh, that helped to speed the ball a little further, and what Jim did was, he helped me monitor the credit report, you know, and I was kind of blessed that this guy here was helping me, and uh, holding my hand and showing me actually on paper that you're going from having no credit score to a real good credit score. But what is most important to the score is what have you done for me lately? If you're making on-time payments now, that has the most positive impact on your credit score is making on-time payments um, now in the recent history, the last six months. We still really actually didn't believe that uh, the process would actually evolve and uh, they kept saying, uh, the Peterson organization kept saying, uh, we can get you approved. And so they just started taking the steps. And then by the time we got to the point to where we were approved, I still really didn't believe that uh, we would be able to acquire a house. But then once we got the credit score to the point, he said, now you need to go find a house. And I was like, okay, well, we're just going to go. I've heard that story a thousand times. You know, I've been with real estate agents a million, a million times. So let's play this game Do it again. <laughs> and, and go find a house. Up until the day we signed, it was actually still, to me, I was still suspect on me whether too. or not <laughs> we, would, uh, <clears throat> we would get this house. And the day of the signing, me and my wife were standing there, and it's like, uh, he said, I told you that you could do it. And now when they, we got this house, it was $100 cheaper from uh, <laughs> what we were actually paying, but we're owning this house instead of renting. Yeah, that's a, that's a good deal. I actually can be a credit counselor now. <laughs> I, can, uh, I can go into the business of cleaning up your credit report for you if you need it. <laughs> Remember, look at your credit today. Get a copy of your credit report once a year. Check for any errors and dispute them right away. Make all your payments on time as agreed to with the lender. Don't use all of your available credit. Use only about 40 to 60% of your credit and prevent maxing out those credit cards. It could lower your credit score. Establish three active trade lines such as a credit card, car loan, or credit builder loan that could report to the credit bureaus every month. Pay them on time. If you have existing accounts, do your best to bring them up to date. Buying a house is very important to me as a life goal, but what's more important to me beyond getting the house would be to saving money for my kids' education. In a lot of things in life, you have to have tunnel vision. And sometimes it is difficult, but... Yeah, it is sometimes, but, you know, you, you just, have to. just have to keep your nose to the grind and keep trying. And you have to uh, continue to fight no matter what. And if you continue to fight, eventually doors are open for you. And that's what happened to us. The good life. Well, that's what I'll be.